YouTube, what's up with y'all, nigga, bro? We back with another video, man. I got my boy Ty in the back. Finna hop by that bitch. Bro, turn that shit into it. <laughs> bro, you both. I'm talking about life after death, bro. So, we all need to think y'all going out when y'all die, bro. Of course, bro. Some people may say, oh, I'm going to heaven. I'm going to heaven. I'm going to. Oh, I'm going to the other place. I'm going to hell. Right. But it ain't that easy, low key. It ain't that simple. If you really pay attention to like all the bib biblical stuff that's been put out, <clears throat> some of it has. See, I was watching Cat Williams the other day, bro. That nigga said in every conspiracy theory, ironically, there's a a slimmer of truth in each one. Of course. So I feel like even though the Bibles and all that, you know, everything religious has been watered down in a way there's still some truth in it like i don't know i don't remember but did you tell me about some shit it was like different parts of heaven uh hell what it was yeah. seven layers of hell but that was that was based on the pain did by some nigga back in the day um dante what it was some shit called like when Dante, like Dante is in front of you know the game Dante is in front of when Dante went down seven layers of hell and shit. They were like each layer was for a different sin or a different category of sin. So gluttony, greed, uh, lust, uh, different shit, a whole bunch of shit, all, like the sins, all that shit. You got judged and you got sent where, what like the sin you per, you partook in the most type shit. That's all I'm saying, though. <clears throat> that is a pain, a portrait. A nigga, he drew that shit out. I feel like shit like that. That just don't. You just don't wake up and be like, oh, I'm finna do this shit. Yeah, who like, bro? Seven. The nigga thought of seven layers of hell to him. He had to have seen something, cause all that shit was like that shit was far. It was detailed, bro. Nah, I see you. Uh, niggas won't. Hardcore and evidence. Evidence. They want truth. They want. Just, they gotta see it. That's the problem nowadays, bro. You can't see everything, bro. The wind, bro. Nigga, you breathe oxygen every day. Can you see it? No. no. But, but we know we breathe the shit. You, you. Everything don't need to be seeable for you to understand it, bro. If if there's a person out here that woke up one day and just made a a detailed painting or a portrait or whatever, bro, they drew that shit and that and that bitch don't even look like. It don't look like a pain, bro. She look like he, then he took that shit out of his mind and just threw it on the pain. Bro, he bro. seen something, bro. That it got some truth to it, bro. The supernatural is real. Bro. I don't know how, like, niggas don't think it's real. You you think that niggas just came up with ghosts, spirits, and shit like that, the undead? Yeah. You think niggas came Ultra up with that guys, shit? Vamps, all that shit. You think niggas just came up with, with shit like that because it was fun? No, bro. It's truth to that shit. It may, it may not be depicted how we depict it but there's a version out there that exists when they put it in your, at the time when they put that shit in your face bro they, they telling you that shit real they just put it in a comical way they basically mocking you and making fun of you because you don't know that shit real because they didn't dumb your ass down for so long since you came out of the womb they didn't dumb your ass down so now you think oh god ain't real this and that ain't real it's a lot of real shit but the devil is real nigga. the satan is real but y'all don't greatest, believe that. Exactly. His greatest trick was making niggas believe he didn't exist. And y'all niggas fell for it. All oh, y'all niggas, bro. It's a lot of shit. It ain't like the Buddhist guys. Like, them niggas, real, bro. They're gods, but they're not God. They're not the highest power, bro. They're, they get their power from niggas worshiping them and turning them idol worship. Damn, bro. You got to think about it, man. God told us to, you feel me? He don't want to be worshipped. God, God said God said that he didn't want to be worshipped, but he said have faith in him. You feel me? You got to believe in him. Like, the goodness in people is hidden because of all the evil shit that's in the world. But why you think all that evil shit got, got um, seeped into their flesh and soul and why you why you think everything the way it is now? Why everybody killing each other, hurting each other, and all that shit? Flesh, bro, niggas turn into wicked ways. 
Because, it's, like you said, hold on, my fault. I'm saying, true. but y'all, y'all gotta think about that shit, bro. The devil works in mysterious ways. The devil, his, his like he said, his biggest trick is making you think he don't exist. That's why niggas are so oblivious to the evil shit they do. That the devil is literally right behind them niggas puppeteering them. Telling He's a puppeteer, bro. He's literally making y'all niggas puppets and using y'all, bro. And y'all don't even know that shit. Because you don't believe in him. That's what he wants you to do so you can give him more power. Niggas, niggas in the music industry. Lil Uzi. That nigga Lil Uzi just said... He came out and saying he don't, he don't um, believe in that shit. But look what he doing. Look what the nigga doing. He literally said, y'all music, this music sending y'all nigga to hell because y'all listen to that shit every day. Repeat. Y'all listen to that shit. Y'all invite them spirits. Y'all invite them, them demons. By the your, shit he do. Bro told me some shit, bro. The devil love music. The devil love music. That's what, that's what, that was his, he was over music in heaven, my nigga. He was over that shit. You don't think he got power in that shit? You don't think he still you tap into that power, my nigga? I'm saying so why so that's the why y'all y'all gotta think about the music industry too now. Cause them niggas be that's music. The devil is empowering himself through them people and they know he knows their role models. So once people see what they do, it'll they'll wanna copy that and burn it into their own mind. And they'll start acting like that. Oh now we have people unconsciously doing the devil's work for them. That's what that's what it is. Influence unknowingly because they don't believe in a they don't believe in some higher than them. So they they're down in them lower vibration. They're lower vibrational state. You got niggas doing shit like carnality. You, you got niggas robbing niggas for little shit. You got niggas robbing each other, killing each other, doing shit like that. You breathing into that chaos. You breathing into that that evil, my nigga. Evil is real. Good is real. Good and evil. Good and evil. They coexist in this world. They shouldn't, but they do. You got some niggas uh, never, ever put their hands on a woman. Some niggas that will never, ever look at a child in a sexual way. Some niggas that will never, ever kill another nigga just because just owe some little shit. And then you got niggas that do. Niggas that'll, that'll go and look at a child and say, mm, I want that shit. Or go and fuck with another nigga bitch. That's adultery. You 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 partaking in that? That's a sin. Both of y'all. It take two parties. It take two. So you 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 doing that, and you breeding them spirits. You giving them spirits power over you. They can torment you, cause now they got you in that. They got you in that state. You stuck in them lower three vibrations. They got you in that state. Demons are lower vibrational beings. That's where they have power. That's what them niggas have power. So you stand in there. You just you just getting caught up in that shit. It's true some thoughts. It's true some thoughts are not your own thoughts. Why you think it's true some thoughts consist of shit that you know you will never do? You be like, no, nah, I ain't finna do that shit. You, you think you think you finna go? You think oh somebody got a baby in their hand? You 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 thinking your own brain? You thinking your mind? Just a thought pass by. Oh go oh go 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 slap that baby. Oh, 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 go grab the baby and throw that nigga on the ground and stomp on that nigga. Them ain't your thoughts, nigga. Unless you just a really fucked up individual and you already taken over by that shit. But them, ain't your, them ain't your thoughts, my nigga. Those are demons trying to attack you, especially if you believe in God, bro. Especially if you believe there's a higher power. They're going to try to get you all the time, take you off your path, bring you down to where they at. You can't give in to that shit, bro. You can't give in to the temptation. You can't give in to the thoughts, bro. What are you going to say, but my bad. I don't finna say nothing, bro. I'm just I'm letting you talk to them, nigga, bro. How it is, bro. But like you said, no temptation. That's, that, that's literally what, if you think about it, that's what the devil is, bro. The it's devil cool. literally uses... I, I'm going off of a, a show or some shit, but that, I bet that shit got some truth to it, though, bro. I bet that it's somewhere in the world there's a real, like, note or document about this shit, bro. I was watching Lucifer, bro, and like, bro, basically, the moment you see him, bro, if you're not immune to it, basically, half of the planet is not. Certain people are, but when you see him, you immediately just start telling him your desires, everything. He can, ba he's basically, you just instinctively tell him whatever secret or the deepest shit ever. The moment you see him, he... And you're not supposed to give in to that shit. That's temptation, bro. That He's using power. 
and y'all giving them power over that. Music is low key temptation. Yes, bro. Because so certain beats vibrate. My fault. No, I would say I would definitely say, but like if you listen to some some of the music I listen to, bro. Certain beats, bro. It vibrates at it like, bro. Paint the sound right. I will never listen to that song, bro. I keep hearing clips of that shit over videos and shit, and it's so. It's so enchanting. Like, I want to listen to that shit, but I know I can't. Because I know the person behind that music, she 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 on some demonic shit. She on some devil worship and shit. We didn't see, we didn't see her come out and do certain shit. The music videos. Nigga, the, the pictures, nigga. The, the album covers and shit. Certain shit. Like. Hey, y'all don't want to hear about that shit, though. Y'all want to hear about somebody dying. Yeah, yeah, I want to hear about death, brutality. I think a Julio Fulio though. Bro got shot in the foot, bro. And then the funny part was, I that seen nigga. he he was trolling the ops, bro. Yeah, I seen that shit, bro. bro. That nigga don't learn, bro. Like it's yeah. funny, bro. And I don't know how many times he got shot, but people like, bro, this is like third, second, third, or fourth time getting shot. And they and like somebody, they like God got a plan for you. You just keep doing evil shit. You keep doing, you keep feeding into that violence and that destruction and that death. That shit, shit get old. That shit get tiring, bro. That shit gonna take a hold on you. It ain't gonna do nothing but lead you straight to that, down that path of death and destruction. Either you die or you go to jail. It ain't no in between. It ain't no, oh, I'm gonna keep killing. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stay free. No, nigga, you kill. Your ass gonna get your, bro. You gonna get what's coming to you. If you live by the sword, you die by the sword. The sword can be a gun in this situation. You live by the gun, you're going to die by it. It's simple. You may you may have survived a few encounters. You may have survived a couple shootouts. When your day is coming, you live, you keep living by that gun, you're going to die by that shit, bro. That shit going to... You lean yourself down your own... to your You lean yourself to your own demise. By doing certain shit, partaking in certain shit, hanging around certain niggas, hanging around certain people, environments. You lean yourself and you causing yourself to go down that path and it ain't nothing good for you though. What what about what you, what you wanted to be when you grew up? Everybody ain't want to be a thug out here killing niggas and looking over their shoulder and trying to die every day. I know everybody ain't had that dream, nigga. You probably wanted to be an engineer. Go to school for that. Get that shit out there, bro. You can buy all the guns you want. You you got all that damn money. You an engineer, nigga. And, and you can work on shit, nigga. And you got hella guns. And you a law about like, bro, it's not that damn hard. Some niggas, but you can't blame it on niggas because they done been indoctrinated. They done been, they, done, they grew up around this shit, the environment. Y'all niggas grew up in the hood. Y'all seeing niggas. That shit, that shit look appealing. But that's how the devil gets you. When shit look appealing, he, he'll hit you with something that look appealing as shit. But you don't know, you don't, you don't know the repercussion you got to deal with after you get that shit. Certain niggas in music, like music industry, bro, he'll throw a million in your face. All you got to do is sign your name, bro. The, it's, it's, the hose, it's, the clothes, the cars. It's like, bro. Damn, I've got the thought, bro. But like, that's his facts, bro. I like, he'll you, he'll throw whatever you want. He know what you want, and he'll give it straight to you. See, there, there you go. Everything, everything that's uh. I was going to say not all money is good money, but that's not the terminology that I want to use for what I'm about, what I'm trying to say. All fast money ain't good money. Something like that. It's, uh... All quick money ain't good money. I, I know what you're talking yeah. about. I know the same what you're talking about. What? All, all quick money ain't good money. It, 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 it's something like that. Y'all know what I'm trying to say, though. Like, bro, yeah, you may get, you may stack up. Like, when, nigga, you in the hood and you, and you doing that shit, bro. You out on the block every day. Go get a job, nigga. Why are you sitting there on the block defending your block? Defend the fuck you, bro. This ain't even your block, nigga. You rapping other niggas. You rapping a white nigga shit, bro. It's a white nigga name on that road. Or it's a, or a white nigga name. A white nigga owns that shit. You're rapping that shit. That's not your shit, bro. And you, you you ready to blame in any nigga that say something to you? Why? You can't just chill, man. Everybody ain't gotta die. But then again, like I said, you can't blame me. Some niggas didn't been, some niggas get caught up or like experience trauma, bro, at an early age. Nigga might have been molested. Now he hate 
everything. That nigga mad at the world. Or he might have seen somebody die. Now he now he now he had everybody head. He at war with the world or some shit. You got you you can't but they don't they don't I figured it out. They don't clean that shit. You don't it don't it don't what's the word? But I'm trying to find the word. It it don't make that shit any better, bro. It don't make please? that shit it don't make what the nigga doing better. You got her killing niggas, shooting at niggas. You probably shot at somebody's house. Niggas kids in there. A nigga family in there, bro. You went like bro, and please. God has a funny way of working, bro. You do some shit like that, and next thing you know, boom. Either your ass go to jail or somebody come gonna come get your ass for that shit. Bro, you gotta target on that. It's Oh, God damn it. My fault, bro. No, nah, I forgot, bro. I keep forgetting that shit, bro. But y'all, y'all finna just say, bro, never. It's, don't go eye for an eye, bro. Don't do that shit. It, it's no point. Because you feel me, like, bro, said, what if somebody come get you? So, what if somebody come do the same thing that you just did, but they succeed and they hit your whole family, but you miss theirs? Exactly. That's funny. That's called repercussions. Some people don't understand that. You reap what you sow. Some see y'all. Y'all actions always have consequences. Mm -hmm. There is no oh you got out of it, oh you managed to slip through. You nah, actions have consequences, bro. And it's funny. That's why y'all can't be doing all that, man. Y'all can't give in to. If somebody makes you so mad to a point that you right instead of threatening them verbally. That you'll want to go kill them, take their life. That means you gotta you gotta distance yourself. Just leave. It's not worth it. I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's not worth it. You okay? What if you kill him? Okay, he dead now. But you behind bars. Half your life gone. You can't revel in that kill. Yeah, he he gone. Yeah, you gonna think about? Oh yeah, I, I finally what, got him. And I've what do it do for you? Though? Like when you catch that nigga and you kill that nigga. What good come out came out of it? Did you get more money? Did you? I'm saying, bro. Did, did, some people, me? no, they do it for satisfaction. You feel emotions, bro? Niggas, and then it be like street niggas are emotional niggas, bro. They the most emotional. They probably raised by a single mom, bro. They the emotional niggas, bro. They never had a dad around or a man to, to show them what the fuck they supposed to be doing. So they learn from the streets. They learn. Shit, they learn shit they saw. Cause I ain't gonna lie, I might ruffle some feathers, but a woman can't teach a man how to be a man. A woman can't teach a little boy how to be a man. Cause she's a woman, she's feminine. Yeah, she can't. She can't see that masculine perspective. Her role is different from a man who's actually a man. He's living. He can. He can tell. He can show you. He can show you from his life experience as being a man. But don't get it twisted. They're still black moms that do it. I ain't even gonna of say course, black moms. Single moms, they do a damn good job for some of the niggas that come out. Yes. They can there are some that can balance that, but you can tell they they haven't balanced the masculine side of the of the family yes. to to teach that nigga. But she's doing her best. And he came out decent. I'll say that. But like he said, you can't a woman can't teach a man how to be a man. Cause she's a woman. Exactly. They live two totally different lifestyles. If you want, if you want to get touchy on that shit, you could say one has a more easier life, or one can have more advantages. Yes, bro. A woman's role is to nurture, bro. A man has to provide for his family. So if a man sitting there, a woman can be more in her feminine if a man is providing, bro. If a man is doing, is is a, is a man? If a man is masculine, bro, and he's it, it men that energy, bro, that'll turn a woman. She, she'll give, she'll be more of her feminine state. Or maybe I'm just spouting shit, but I feel like, yeah, like certain, like the agenda nowadays huh. is to make men feminine and women masculine. Switch the roles. I don't get it, bro. But listen, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna knock a female that want to be buff and all that shit, bro. But why? So you can. I feel like a buff female can still be feminine. Bro, she yes, just, she yes, just, of she course. Buff. I'm saying, bro, but I want to know why though. What's the motive behind it? Why do you want to be buff so you can whack any nigga that run up on you, or like to feel strong? I feel like 
people think strength comes from the physique. Nah, strength comes from the soul, bro. You got you got to gotta have strength in your heart. You got to yes. have strength in your mind. That's what make people strong. That's what people don't understand. Yo, mind yes, you matters. can. Yes, physical strength matters. But what if there's a way that you can overpower physical strength with your will? Yes. It's, it's, it's that simple. Spiritual and mental strength is important, bro. Cause that's how you fight against demons, bro. You got the spiritual, the spiritual strength, and the mental capacity, the mental will, bro, to not be, to not be influenced, bro. To not be taken over. And like I said, influence, you, like. Some hot shit, bro. But if you got that, bro, you you really straight, bro. You got self control. You know how to, you know how to self control. Fasting and praying, bro. Fasting and praying is the ultimate way. Semen retention. Do that. That shit is the ultimate way. Get to gain self control and control over your emotions, bro. To become more centered, bro. Of course, bro. Because you can fight anybody on the world, but the strongest person is always going to be you. The inner you is always going to be your biggest foe. Once you get control over that, you're untouchable. If you have patience and you have skills, you're untouchable. You just have to be dedicated to gaining control over yourself. But that's smoke in my mouth. Because... If, yeah, you have to get control over yourself because there's nobody that can combat you if you have control. Somebody can be screaming at you. They raging. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, you're you not giving them that power. You're not giving them that reaction that they're looking for. You're, they lose strength because you're not feeding into the energy they're presented to you. That's why you have to learn to be strong. You have to be better. You can't. Stoop down to do it. They do because, oh, well, he bumped me and he pushed me into a wall. I'm finna go. Shit like that shouldn't phase you, bro. Yeah, you should be, you should be able to just dust your shoulder up and go on by your business, bro. Don't just, don't go up behind that nigga and. Pause that bit, bro. Ooh, fuck it, bro. The LGBTQ movement, bro. I know it's a sore topic for some niggas, but we finna get into that, bro. Bro, hold on. A man and a woman are naturally made to procreate, bro. When God made the earth, bro, he didn't make Adam Adam and Mark. He didn't make Adam and Steve. He didn't make Adam and the Aquarius, nigga. He made Adam and Eve. He didn't make Eve and Yvette, nigga. He didn't make Eve and Sarah, Eve and Delilah or some shit. Yeah, man. He didn't, he didn't do that shit, bro. That's not what you're supposed to do, man. You're not supposed to. When you do that. Oh, my fault, my fault. No, you straight, bro. When you do that, you're giving in to carnality, bro. You're giving in to your flesh. You're giving in to your worldly desire, bro. Sorry, that's why. That's the reason Sodom and Gomorrah fell. I can't do that shit, man. I understand, like, oh. They was trying to they, fuck the angels. They look good. Yeah, yeah. They, they look good and all that, but, bro, you're not supposed to. It's not. It's not for you. It's, it, your body want it, but it's not what your what you, your soul want. Bro. Your it's, your eyes, bro. Pornography is a major factor, bro. Say that shit too. Cause some niggas, bro, they have you watching hella pornography, become a porn addict, bro. Then if your interest as you as you go on, as you continue, your interest get a little more. Like unnatural, you start looking at other shit, same sex. You start looking at that shit. That shit ain't good for you. That shit affects your mind, bro. Your eyes are the window to your soul. So what you put through your eyes matters. What you what you lend your eyes, what you give your eyes access to, it matters, cause it can directly influence your thoughts. Especially if you watching porn and you and you doing this shit on a day to day basis, you 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 you. Infecting your mind with that shit, you, and you can't, you fuck around, can't even get hard 
when you around a real woman, when you get nervous, when you can't even talk to a real woman because you just seen so much porn, you just think, oh, I'm just supposed to, I'm supposed to fuck, I'm just supposed to fuck out real, but I don't, I, don't, I don't have a social security to talk to. I'm supposed, I'm supposed to fuck out real. Uh, Give me the uh, pussy. Can, 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 can we? Uh, can't no, work like that. Can, that boy, you have him stuttering and all that, bro. You gotta have confidence when you talk to a woman, bro. Then yes. I, I went to the shop. Some dude told me, bro, then he do some real shit, bro. He was like, goddamn. Niggas so used to talking over the phone and shit, texting. They don't know how to express their real real feeling to a woman when they right in front of them. And I'm like, yeah, that's right. Because, like, bro, you can't. It shit sound different when you say it to a, to a female on contrast to a phone. Because you actually can say it to her. You can actually give meaning to the word that you're telling her. Over the phone is just like you said in whatever type of way you see certain expressions and certain attitudes and shit. demeanors and statures and you see how how much of a character this person has built for themselves body language that's, that's the body language that's why you have to y'all gotta start going to go actually see the females man that's why y'all gotta y'all can't stay in the crib i know staying in the crib be lit <laughs> Yeah, I got the game and then all that. Yeah, I be, be chilling, bro. But so you gotta go out, bro. You gotta actually meet up with her, bro. Link up with her. Really gauge who she is versus who she project, who she project herself to be on social media or over the phone. See, there are two different. There, there are two versions of people. Always, I feel like there's always going to be two versions of people. There's always going to be the social media version of that person and the actual person that's there. Every, I feel like if you act the exact same both ways, that means you were never a character to begin with. That right. was always you raw, one hundred percent. Everybody don't post every second day lives on social media for real. If they do, so wrong with. Exactly, bro. They they just doing that shit for for some other purpose. I don't know. Money, whatever. Because not any somebody with common sense in a brain, bro. They would just post everything they do. Exactly. You don't know what certain people going through. Even the people that do post their cell phone, you don't know what they going through for real, for real. They you don't know they... little glimpses. Exactly. You can only see the surface. As a contrast to actually knowing that person and getting to know them and talking to them and engaging who the fuck they really are. You got to pay attention, bro. Have discernment. You got to care, man. You got you to gotta give. You got to give elf. I, I say that you gotta care, bro. You can't just like like bro said, bro. You, that porn shit is not for you. You gotta go out there and actually experiment with women and understand what they into, bro. You gotta. You can't just think, oh, since you that shit is staged, bro. It's staged. Yes, bro. Uh, there, the women in the male is supposed to act like that. Bro. Some of the orgasm don't even be real, bro. Acting. And then some of the some of the like. That's what it is. It's acting, bro. For women, they see uh, they see horses like niggas. They got such and such amount of 10, 12 inches on there. Every nigga ain't walking around with 10, 12 inches. You, know, you it's rare you gonna find a nigga that that do. I won't say it's rare, but you ain't gonna find it in every nigga. But you might you might find a good nigga, a nigga that meet all your qualities, all your all your all your um expectations, your standards, all of that. But you worry about his size. He might have like a six inch or a seven. He like uh. Like, man, what you, what you thought, man? What you thought I would walk around with a horse? A nigga that probably go... A gonna, rope? A nigga, the fuck? Exactly, bro. A nigga that probably will make your life, turn your life into a better situation, and you turn to the tossing nigga with the, with, with, the, with, the, with the fucking horse, the fucking schlong, and that nigga ain't good for you worth shit. But you fucking on that nigga, and you, you enjoy the sex. That's the only thing y'all looking at. Men, too. Men, men have whole have whole cheer by bitches they don't even want. They just hit and oh, it was an accident. You feel me? It was goofballish, bro. It was. If you just wanted to hit it, just to hit it, bro, you know, wrap up. Bro, or don't or just like, bro. Abstain from that shit. You really not supposed to be giving your, bro, sex creates. Money